Hi my YouTube family, this is Melody from Home Garden and Fashion. I thank you so so much for being here today. Today we are going to have a wonderful time together. Hi my YouTube family, this is Melody from Home Garden and Fashion. Please welcome to Home Garden and Fashion. I hope all of you are doing awesome. Today I'm going to show you how to make onion with PPN squash and this is the PPN squash and this squash is really tasty. I just peel it and eat it raw like that and it's so tasty. I mean try peeling your vegetable and just eating it raw. They have a unique taste. But today I'm going to show you how you can do it with onion and these recipes my recipes are very very simple and I do not add too many ingredients to destroy the flavor or just you know make a hole in your pocket I just use very simple and small little ingredients to make you very tasty so what I'm going to use today is just very simple spices I have half a teaspoon of olive oil I'm heating it up in my pan and to that I'm going to add some cumin seed and asaphorida which you probably know by now that I add it with all my vegetables especially all the lentils and beans because that's really great for digestion and you will not get any cramps or gas or anything I'm going to add a little bit of cumin seed and few cups of asaphorida. Now if you have organic squash then you can just wash it and then chop it up and cook it but if it's not organic then it's better to get rid of the skin because you don't know what's on that vegetable what kind of chemicals so I'm just going to roast it a little bit and yeah I chopped off my ginger and garlic and onion for making this dish we need to have onion ginger garlic and a chopped up because when it's chopped up and you're going to saute a little bit and then put your squash then it will have a different taste and on top we're just going to add salt turmeric and any spice that you have in your home you, know, you don't need to go out and get something special just usually go get one package of something spice blend not 10 different kinds of spices so my onion is ready to put in here so i have here one onion chopped and little bit ginger garlic to cook it for 5 minutes until it's slightly brown and to cover it and cook it and then I see you know. so as you can see my onion ginger garlic sauteed it nicely and to that I'm going to add my pecan squash This will go down a lot as it cooks, so I have about six, seven of the big ones. And you can cover it up a little bit to go down. 
this for five ten minutes and it will go down a lot and then I'm going to add the spices so now I'm going to add the spices and I have taken this usual spices salt, turmeric, little bit garam masala, little bit vegetable masala and some cilantro leaves I'll just add the cilantro leaves now and I can add a little bit later at the end as well before serving I can garnish with it and you may choose to add some tomatoes if you wish and I'm going to just do with the spices I'm going to cover it so they will go down a little bit more. And since this is squash, you don't need to add any water. This will release a lot of water. I'm just going to cover it and make it this. Flame is low and I'll see you in 10 minutes or so. So my squash is ready and as you know the squash will let go a lot of water so it did let go a lot of water but it tastes really awesome. So this is what it looks like and it is really awesome tasting. I'm going to pour it in a bowl and just give you a picture and this you can eat with the bread or rice and it's just so tasty. So just make this kind of simple meal, simple dish. Hi, thank you so, so much for being here today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share this video. Thank you. May God bless you all.